Hey, what's up guys? It's Alpha Scale and I'm back with another review video and today we'll be looking at MMS 268 Star Wars Stormtroopers by Hot Toys. Uh, this is one amazing set. Uh, it's the twin pack. Um, there's also the single version, um, the one figure set. Um, I went with a twin pack because I'm a big Star Wars fan and come on, I got Darth Vader man. You need two Stormtroopers, even three or four. So. Yeah, I'm pretty glad um, I got this set. So anyways, um, I just want to give a big shout out also to Eric from Toys 2 who hooked up this uh, beautiful set. Uh, I pre-ordered it last year with him. Uh, he's a local um, shop owner in uh, my area. Here in Canada, he has his own uh, collectible store, so he's pretty reputable. A lot of people know him, a lot of people uh, buy stuff from him, so that's Toys 2. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be, uh, so I'm just gonna be reviewing the figure. Um, I'll be uh, going through the accessories, um, the box, uh, you know, just giving you my thoughts and opinions on this uh, figure set. And I'm so glad I held out for the Hot Toy Stormtroopers. I was contemplating getting the Sideshow Stormtroopers, but I don't know, I I figured I'd just wait for um, the goodness, you know? And I'm glad I did, because I got the Shadow Trooper, and it's basically the same body as the Hot Toys uh, Stormtroopers. And you can't compare uh, Sideshow to Hot Toys quality, man. So um, I'm pretty glad I got, I held out and I waited for these bad boys, so. Anyways, man, uh, let's uh, get on with the review. I hope you enjoy it, and if you're on the fence about this set, I hope this review convinces you. So, let's go. All right, guys, here we have the box. I'm just gonna do a quick run through on the box and the design and whatnot. So here we have the figures, of course, um, the two uh, stormtroopers. Um, it's Star Wars, the movie. Um, MMS 268 at the bottom, Stormtroopers 1-6 scale, collectible figures, it's a movie masterpiece series, and um, made by none other than Hot Toys, so I'm just going to get that focused, so that's the front, um, the sides are pretty um, pretty plain, nothing fancy, uh, you got Disney, uh, the Star Wars franchise is uh, owned by Disney, and um, Star Wars the logo um, and the other side's pretty much the same. And um, straight off the bat, uh, the design of the box, like the color scheme, the gray, um, the gray strips and the black in the middle, it's uh, pretty much the same as the uh, sideshow uh, boxes. If you guys have any um, clone troopers or any uh, sideshow Star Wars figures, it's the same color scheme I find. So um, I've had heard a few people um, say the same thing. Um, at the top, uh, just uh, Star Wars, and um, the back of the box, you have all the fine print, um, so just uh, com company information, Star Wars, and um, secret base, and whatnot, so that's the back of the box, and it's uh, actually, um, you'd pull off the, um, the cover, like this, so... Um, you just uh, lift the cover up to um, expose what's inside. So uh, let's just take a look at the inside real quick. Alright, so I took off the top cover and now we have the inner um, flap uh, cover. So this is just a um, just, uh, cover for the clamshell on the inside. Exposing, showing, revealing the figures, the stormtroopers here. So, um, so we have the figures, another picture of the figures in a different pose. Uh, and on the white side, um, the item description right there. And those are the figures. So, I'm gonna get the figures out all posed up with their accessories uh, laid out so we can take a look at them. All right, guys, so here we have the figures out of the box posed up and ready to be reviewed. Um, these are just amazing pieces. I've never owned Stormtroopers. Um, I didn't grab the uh, Sideshow uh, Stormtroopers because, well, they came out way before I started collecting 1-6 figures. And um, yeah, I love Star Wars, but I knew the 
Hot Toys uh, Stormtroopers were coming out. So I figured I'd just wait for these bad boys because can't really compare Sideshow figures to Hot Toys figures. There's no comparison. The quality, the likeness, just everything about these figures is amazing. And I love the fact that each um, head sculpt is hand painted. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Specifically hand painted. So, you know, a lot of work goes into these figures. And that's why they cost so much money. And of course, I have the uh, accessories. So, um, so I just want to go through each figure real quick, um, just to get it out of the way. So, um, as you see, uh, this is your stormtrooper from A New Hope. So the same helmet, everything, the details are just amazing. Um, and one thing I like about these figures is uh, the armor is very um, snug fitting, so you won't find any uh, loose armor like um, just the leg armor and uh, the calves and the lower foot and just everything is just very snug on the inner body. <clears throat> so um, it's, yeah. Because if, you, if you've owned like Sideshow uh, Stormtroopers or Clone Troopers, um, the armor tends to be a bit loose and it moves a lot. But with these um, Hot Toys uh, Stormtroopers, the outfit's pretty snug and fits perfectly on the, on the body. And of course the body is um, covered by a, like a, a black suit under the the armor right here so it's like a black um spandex kind of nylon suit under the the inner body all right so so here are these guys are holding their um blaster rifles stormtrooper one and stormtrooper two and if you noticed uh one is visibly taller than the other so i like the i like the fact that uh, hot toys did that gives it more um, realism to the set because not all stormtroopers are the same height and that's what I like about stormtroopers um, is that they're not clones like clone troopers so they won't all be the same height uh, stormtroopers are actual um, humans actual people um, because by the time the Empire um, started making storm or you know developing stormtroopers uh, they stopped with the clone program so just just if you guys just in case you guys didn't know that star wars trivia star wars fact fact of the day these are not clones stormtroopers are not clones uh, so i won't get into the history of that but now you know that's why they're called stormtroopers um yeah so just the details of these uh these figures top notch everything about it um and the leather, the holster is actually leather. So this is for the, um, their, I believe it's for the blaster rifles, the holsters. It will be too uh, big for the blaster um, pistols that I'll show you uh, after this. Even the back, um, just the back of the armor, so detailed, so movie accurate. Just amazing, man. And also, um, just so you know, just um, just to note, um, I was lucky to have uh, my figures, um, well, their helmets, um, without any scratches, because I know a lot of uh, people who bought the set or bought the um, the single stormtrooper figure, because it comes in a set. And it also comes like it comes in a twin pack, and it also comes with um, as a single figure. So a lot of people were complaining about uh, paint scratches on the um, the helmet on the top of the dome. So I was very fortunate to get a set without um, any scratches on the paint. So I was pretty uh, nervous about that before I got the set, but now that I have it and see no visible scratches, I'm pretty happy about that. Also, I forgot to mention from the get-go, 
Uh, this set is not the exclusive. Um, the exclusive comes with the uh, gun rack, um, the rack that you could put your rifles and your, your blaster, um, your big rifle on, or your big blaster, heavy blaster. That's, yeah, heavy blaster. So this set does not come with the um, the the gun rack, but it comes with everything else. Um, I missed out on that um, the exclusive set. But you know, if I want uh, the the gun rack, I can always buy it loose. You know, so no big deal. Um, yeah, so that's uh, those are the figures, and um, let's just go through the accessories real quick. So of course that's the instruction booklet, um, instruction sheet on the back of the detolf right there. Um, this is the these are the stands for each uh, stormtrooper. And I love uh, I love the base. It's uh, definitely just like the movie. Um, if you remember at the beginning of A New Hope, um, this was the color of the floor um, in the the holding cell where they were holding Princess Leia. And um, yeah, this was the color of the floor in that hallway. See, I, I watched the movie. I've watched the movie so many times, so. Every little thing that I see, I can pinpoint to which part of the movie that they were in. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's uh, from the movie. Just very movie accurate. Um, also, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually some weathering on the base. So, some parts of the base are darker than others. So, they did some weathering on the base, which was a very nice touch. You probably can't see it that well with the the view from the camera, so just take my word for it. Uh, the name plates are also removable, and the reason being is so you can put the bases together, like you can stack them beside each other to make one large base. So if I wanted to buy like two extra bases, I can just put all four bases together and just recreate one giant base for the figures and. Even if you wanted um, to put uh, add Darth Vader to the display, you could do that if you just buy some extra bases. And that would look really cool for um, displaying purposes. All right, so uh, let's look at the accessories. So uh, we have a heavy, uh, heavy blaster right here. I had to um, display that uh, vertically because it just takes up so much space. So that's the heavy blaster. In the middle, um, you got your blaster pistol with the scope on it. Um, you got your your back pouch, your waist, uh, the pouch that um, that you could attach to the utility belt or the pow drill or whatever you want to call it. So this would go at the back of the the belt or the back of the figure. Just attach it to the uh, hook it onto the utility belt um, for each um, trooper. Um, there's uh, five extra sets of um, interchangeable hands five interchangeable hands so you got your open palm right here relaxed um, you got your trigger hand right here um, closed fist extra hand pegs of course um, this pretty cool mouse droid if you guys remember uh, you'd see these on the um, Imperial uh, starships so um, these are mouse droids um, and uh, Stormtrooper B's accessories are the same, so I don't really have to go through them, you know, indeed, whatever, you have the five extra interchangeable hands, and you got your pouch and your pistol, um, pistol blaster, blaster pistol, um, and yeah, pretty much the same as the other trooper accessory-wise, so yeah, that's it for the accessories, and um, that's it for the figures as well. So, yeah. So honestly, man, I really, I really give this um, figure set um, ten out of ten. I think it's perfect. I don't see anything wrong with them. Um, the accessories are great. It's everything you need in a stormtrooper, and the figures are just awesome, man. I'm so happy with them. So, I'm so tempted to get like two more, <laughs> but you know, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review.
Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you're on the fence about these figures, I hope that this uh, review convinced you to go get them, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Why not? And if you're a Star Wars, yeah, if you're a Hot Toy fan, if you like Hot Toys, they still make great figures, you know. Hot Toys did a really great job with this set, so go cop them. So anyways, until then, uh, hope you, yeah, until then, just keep collecting, keep the peace. Um, just enjoy the hobby, and I'm out. All right, peace.